Hi, I'm Morton Gaz Pedersen, and you're watching Rovers Chat. Hello, and welcome back to the Rovers Chat YouTube channel. I'm sitting down to the map predicted at time for Rovers FA Cup trip to Norwich. Always a hard one to do with the FA Cup, but I'm just going to give it a go and see if it works out. John Dalton Thomas said there'll be changes, not as many as last time. There were 11 last time, so I've gone for 10 in this exercise, just one player staying through. Uh, I think there'll be less, but it's hard to kind of pick them out, really, given how many players we know are going to play. It's hard to pick out, so I've gone for my best. Let us know down below what you think you'll choose and what maybe you like to see us choose because that's two different things. The manager doesn't always pick a selection we agree with. Just look at Jake Garrett at Cardiff at home. Everyone wanted Travis and then, you know, Garrett's man of the match. So let us know who you think you'd, uh, who you'd like to have in the XA and who you think John Dahl will go for. So, as you see, I've gone for a 5-2-3. This will just fit in, in all the players that he said will play as, long as, uh, as well as the players that I think will play. So in that, ends the Bears are always cup goalkeepers. Impressed when he's been in. I think he's the obvious choice to win that for this game. Give him a chance. You know, there was rumours about a long move. You know, maybe he can play in that spot. Just before I carry on, uh, this has been recorded on the Thursday night. So if there's any team changes by the time this is out, then obviously, you know, that I've not just ignored it. I've just not been uh, had time to record it closer to the game, really. Right back, I've gone Joe Rankin. Still the one player to keep his position. Went off, I think we're all worried he were injured, but turns out it was just a knock and nothing more. And John Doe said there's no injury. So, spot on. I think he'll keep his spot just because we're lacking really in right backs. Uh, Ash Phillips, centre-back, first one, not really been in the squad. Got taken out for Adam Morton, actually, a few games ago. Uh, I think he deserves a game and I think he'll get one here. Uh, Scott Wharton, the other centre-back, uh, the centre-centre-back, sorry. Been lacking game time. We expect to start. Lancashire Telegraph told us that he should start. So I think he's an obvious pick. And then maybe sent back to Clinton Mauler. There's rumours he's loan spell of length. I think he'll get one game before he goes. Or maybe this is his game to prove himself. Who knows? But uh, I think Clinton Mauler will be given a go. Whether people agree with that, with that or disagree is a different story. And left back to you, and another one expected to go out on one. I think he'll get one more game to prove himself. John Doll kind of hinted at it in his press conference after the Cardiff game that players who haven't been playing will get a chance. And that will probably include the ones that are going to head out on loan. So I think Eden will get a go. Sent mid, Lewis Travis hasn't been in the squad. I think he's a definite to come in, really. Uh, playing the side... I think he'll get his goal. He's not really been in, so he deserves a, a run out. And Adam Wharton, who's been on the bench, really. You know, you look at Jake Garrett started last game, Tyler Morton started last game, and John Buckley's out. That's three of the five senior centre mids, and that's classing Wharton and Garrett as senior. Uh, so I think Wharton, the Travis mid midfield. If we do go for a 5 3 2, uh, I was tempted to do this. I'd have said Jared Arlock will make his debut. I know he's been around the squad. I think he'll be involved in some capacity on Sunday, whether he starts or not, I don't know, but hopefully he gets a run out. Right wing of on George Hurst, we all know about his loan spell, maybe this could be his last game, he might not even play, you know, he might, that might then force it to a 5-3-2, like I mentioned with Harlow. Mark Andy, left wing, we've been told he's going to play, Thompson said he'll start, guaranteed start, uh, so Mark Andy has to be in this squad. And up top, Jack Vale, Lancaster, I forget, and I've said that he should be involved from the start, so I've gone for that with my lineup. Let us know down below what you think we'll line up by. Uh, and what you'd like to see his line up, really. I know it's two different stories. Personally, I'd like to see our lot given a go. Maybe go to a 5 3 2, or maybe just go for a 4 3 3 and drop Clinton Mauler out and then bring our lock into midfield. But that's what I think. Let's know down below how you'd line up and how you think John Dowell would. And remember to hit subscribe. Really appreciate all the support we get on the channel. Uh, there should be some new faces coming on as well in the next few weeks. So, you know, you'll see a lot. Maybe a few changes, but still the same content, still the same level of videos, same amount of videos, maybe even more if we can get a bigger team going again. But we'll see how it goes. But thank you for your support. Stick with us throughout. I'll be covering the Norwich game for Lanks Live as well. So if you want to check out my personal Twitter, that's at Ains with D99. You can check out all the coverage there, uh, providing match updates, press conference updates afterwards, and everything as I make my way back from Norwich. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support as well on the Lanks Live stuff, and we'll see you soon for a new video. Yeah.